games. And what is better than board games? How about organizing them? They're alive! <laughs> we have created a monster of organization. Everything, all, all the bits are where they're supposed to be. Look at this. My dice are where they're supposed to be. Uh, my tiles are where they're supposed to be. My cards are where they're supposed to be. Feast your eyes on pure bliss. This is Berkey from Board Game Theater and the Berkey and Badger Board Game Babble Show. And today, we're gonna look at what a few companies are doing out there to help us organize some of our favorite games. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned at the end of this video for an exciting opportunity for you to win your very own insert. Now, a little disclaimer here, okay? I know a lot of the people that are making these games, and I know several of them pretty well, met them at conventions. I've personally purchased many of these inserts myself, and I've also been given a few of them for the sake of doing this presentation. Now, one thing that I wanna say is I'm not here to do a critical analysis, but rather to show you what's available out there in the hobby and what I found was interesting. I truly love all this stuff, and this is the kind of thing that makes our hobby so great. So with no further ado, let's take a look at a few of the companies. So now we're talking about the Broken Token. The Broken Token has a number of laser cut wood inserts. These are inserts that you need to put together, but they're really fantastic. They make one for Battlestar Galactica, Lords of Waterdeep, Dead of Winter, Blood Rage, of course. You know how much I love Blood Rage. And Core World's one of my favorite deck building games. So I'll show you a couple of them individually. Well, first I'll show you Blood Rage. Boy, I wish we would have had this when we filmed Blood Rage on Board Game Theater. It comes in the box really nicely off all your directions. It actually has little slots cut out where the board fits in there perfectly. So the board sits nicely. All of our age of Ragnaroks, all of our player boards and all of that. And then very interesting, it's a very simple compact design where everything fits together really tightly. You'll see here that the monsters all fit in a little tray. If you can see this, there's some little fingers right here and the monsters just slip right into those fingers and they're held securely. So if you have your uh, monsters painted, which I don't have yet, they don't touch each other and they, they, you, they handle very easily. Likewise, we've got some of our expansions from the Kickstarter of our monsters, again with the little fingers, the little wolf man, but they come in there so cool. And there's a token box that has all of our Ragnarok tokens with all the nice Kickstarter additions. Easy to assemble, easy to put on top for your tokens. There's also a token box here that we house all of our pillage tokens in. I have some of my extra cards in here for the expansions. There's a very nice card tray for each Age of Ragnarok. There are these wonderful little trays for the gods of Asgard and that just comes off and they all sit in there. That tray sits on there nice and tightly, just like that. Likewise, for all of the extra monsters, the cover comes off, they sit in there nicely. Again, they can, if they're gonna be painted. And each one of the clans comes in their own box. And each box has a little token to keep all of your extra player tokens. Fits on there, they're nicely logoed. This Blood Rage insert is officially licensed by Cool Mini or not. And then there's these little tabs that hold everything in place. The top fits securely, boom, Blood Rage. Now this is one of the first custom inserts that I've ever got. It's the Lords of Waterdeep. Now this is such an interesting box. It's only a half cover box, but what they've done here so nicely, again, you'll see the board fits in here perfectly as they have little slots where it holds everything secure. Notice here, these little player boards actually come in here. These are the Skullport expansion. They come in there nicely. There's a nice place for our buildings, our meeples, all of our coins, 
all of our workers, and all the cards, quest cards, and so forth, intrigue. And everything, the tray actually comes out, so if you want to take the money tray out, very simply to do so. And you can set up Lords of Waterdeep just like that. There you have it, Lords of Waterdeep. One of my favorite games is Battlestar Galactica. I have two expansions in here, but this insert will easily accommodate the additional one. The board fits in nicely. All of our other player boards for Pegasus. You'll notice here that all of our card trays are easily accessible. These are removable trays for our bits as well. There are trays that are, are we can take out our player cards. This is a removable tray as well for our heroes. Everything goes in very quickly. Again, very easy to get this to the table. You can see I have tape on here. I've glued these together and that's a good idea. You put some tape on them just to, to hold it in place while you are getting the glue to hold. Really not brain surgery. The Broken Token has very nice organized instructions that show you each of the components that come. Very nice, easy to put together. And there you have it, Battlestar Galactica. Now for Robert Searing of Insert Here. Now Robert does an amazing job of making custom, high quality, precisionly cut, fully assembled foam inserts. They're fully put together. I've never seen a combination. I mean, he's got hundreds, it's like 130 some different SKUs. Uh, it's fantastic. Not only is Robert a great guy and not only does he do excellent customer service, he really does a lot for the hobby. And now my side part, my counter man, my Robin to my Batman. Chaps, a lot of game companies put a lot of love into the games that they produce. Yay, Fantasy Flight! But a lot of those companies don't put the love needed into how the game fits into the box. <laughs> Yay, Fantasy Flight! But lucky for us, there is Insert here, who has over a hundred different inserts for all your board games. Here's the insert for Steampunk. As you can see, this is just a foam made insert, and they come pre-made like this, so you don't have to put it together yourself and you just pop it in the box, place the components where you need, and then you can start playing. This is Agricola, which is known to have lots of components, like lots of boards, and lots of wooden pieces and cards. And as you can see, each has its own space, and for setup of the game, it's a simple case of just take out the tray and put it next to where you're playing. You take your playing pieces, this comes out as well as you can see so you just put it next to the board you don't have to sort it out into piles before playing and then you have that little section there which hides all the cards and then all the cards are easy to get to because at the back of the box they have these little holes which you can stick your finger in and you can lift the cards up like that king of tokyo has lots of room in the box when you remove the original insert and place your own in and as you can see you can add all the extensions into it as well and there's still room for more and more and this all comes out and so you don't have to fiddle around this is legends of andor which is not produced by fantasy flight but it does have the same problem that fantasy flight games have it's just a really bad insert but luckily you can have this wonderful one from insert here everything fits in here nice and sturdily this box is heavy uh, but everything fits in and I'm gonna give it a quick shake and turn up around and stuff like that and do that and do that and do that woo and if we open it up again you will see that nothing is nothing has moved apart from there you go everything is still in its place well there's a few bits of money which have gone walkies but normally stuff doesn't move because it's secure and this is Descent. Now, as you know, Descent is from Fantasy Flight, and their box inserts don't do anything. But with an insert here, insert, let's see if we can get a box fart out of this one. No, no box fart. You can hold your game nicely inside, like so. And as you can see, there is bucket room 
for extra cards if you buy the extensions for um, Imperial Assault. As I said, the trays come out like so, so you can put the components wherever you need them on the board. All your pieces, you can take them out and remove them, add them to your game, put them all back in the box, or maybe leave like the card section out and then place these next to the board and then you can play your game quick and easily so you don't have these long setup times. So there you have it, insert here, foam core inserts. They are foam, so they're extremely light. When you put them in the game, you hardly notice the difference. They are also pre-assembled, so you don't have to do anything yourself apart from decide if that section is going to hold wood or sheep. They are very good shake resistant, so you can take them around and travel around with you and the components won't go everywhere. They also make game play times shorter by making game setup and game pack away a lot quicker, which is a bonus in anybody's case. And there are over a hundred different types of insert that insert here make. If there's a particular game that you do want an insert for, you'll need to get in contact with Robert Searing at Insert Here and he'll work out a little deal and he'll probably get you an insert for a game that you want an insert for. Can I say insert one more time? Now I'm going, this is video is just an insert for all these other videos. So without further ado, ciao for now. If only I could get him to make an insert for my hero escape stuff. Hmm. Here we have some amazing inserts from Ben from Daedalus Productions Inc. And Daedalus does some amazing laser cut work as well. And they do a lot of custom work and they custom stain uh, a lot of their inserts. Uh, really fantastic. I joined them when they kickstarted here a little over a year ago and they've really done some interesting things and Ben is such a great guy and great with people. Uh, I'd like to show you a couple of the items real quickly. This is amazing. Marvel Dice Masters. This is a custom made box that fits all of your Marvel Dice Masters. It's magnetically shut. And look at this. I got both my directions in here. I've got little trays. I've got some hero clicks. So when I play them, I bring them on the table just for fun. Got a place for my, my bags. I have all of these wonderful little trays for all of my dice so these can easily be taken out and put onto the table. And then all of the cards, likewise, are easily uh, stored in each of the components here. And you can adjust these and you can have a pot load of dice and get fit in this. And it's all in this beautiful wood stained box. I just love this box. It smells so good. Marvel Dice Masters. Now, if any of you have played Terra Mystica, you know what a bear this bad boy is. This game, de oh, box fart. <laughs> this uh, game demands a insert. I have the fire and ice expansion with it. Everything fits nicely, fits close together. We've got our player count board. And then you've got these interesting inserts that carry all of our little components. We've got for all of our tiles. Uh, this is really a unique thing that has a little shelf for all of the little player aids and so forth. That's really neat. Um, in addition, look at this. For our wind, fire, and all that. This little tray where everything just sits. And so, again, sits out on the table. And then there's a custom little box for each one of the clans. And all of the components just fit right in here. And you can see that all of the expansions are here. The bag fits on the side and the board. Everything fits in here so easily. So it's very easy to grab everything, take the board out, take all of our player boards. There they all are. Just nothing to it. And so getting Terra Mystica to the table is no longer a chore. Nothing to it. Ah, and one of my favorites, Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Ah, we'll take all those bad boys. And you know all these little things, you got all your player boards, all those things. I just kind of like to stack them in there nice so everything fits snug. And this is a beautiful <laughs> insert. Not only is it stained so beautifully, but just the way things go together. Um, just look at this here. 
there's a, a little tray that comes out and they're shaped like little castles, things of this nature. It's just really fantastic. Everything fits together so nicely. There's uh, the tray for the expansion for all the moats. There's a little tray here for the dungeon <laughs> corridors in the shape of a swan. There's a bit box, again, that has a nice cover that you can take everything out. And then all of the components, these can be taken out and laid alongside the board and all of your castle pieces, and they can be set up. So right next to the game, boom, after you're done, back in the box it goes. One we've all been waiting for, Merchants of Venus. Eric Summoner's favorite game, Fantasy Flight Games. And I talked to Ben about this particular insert because this took me a bit to put, put together, but it, um, the video was so fantastic. Um, not only is it custom designed where everything is removable again, there we've got our little ships and our cards. We have all of our tiles here come out. But this thing here is crazy innovative. It has this cover and it fits perfectly on there. And it's quite a little engineering thing to get this thing to do that. But what it does is it brings this tray, which is so fantastic. Um, I don't wanna tip it here, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm doing this backwards. But the tray can come out on the board like this. Now these are the classic game trays. This is that tray. The additional trays come out. This here is a tray for our credits. There's a tray here for our cards. All of the bits, your dice and tiles, all of your credits. And here's the additional tray with all the races. And then the map fits uh, right on the bottom of the box. And then everything just fits right back together just very nicely and very, very easily. Merchants of Venus. And then we have Meeple Reality. They're the new kids on the block. Well, Lee, he's a super nice guy and he's come up with several very innovative designs. They have an insert for Blood Rage, Chateau Orléans, Castles of Burgundy, Twilight Struggle, Five Tribes, super fun. Let's just take a look at a couple of them. Okay, here's one of my favorite games of all time, Blood Rage, and you gotta have an insert for this. And Meeple Realty has made a really neat insert for Blood Rage. All of your boards and everything fit in here. This is the full-blown Kickstarter version. So all of the player boards, Valhalla, all that is in here nicely across the top. The box fits down nicely. It has removable card holders for each of the uh, ages of Ragnarok for the cards that are removable. And what's really neat about this insert is there's a removable insert for all of the monsters. They sit in here nicely in case you have them painted so they won't scratch. In addition to that, there's some other very unique little vaults for the monsters. And what's really unique about these, the, not only do these hold them together, the Wolfman fell out, there he is, and then they have these bendable wood. Look at this. The wood bends, and then these little pieces are used to hold them together. So it makes kind of like, I like to think of this as like a little Viking boat. But it's that simple, and then they can be displayed like that. And then the main insert comes out just like this. There's another vault for another monsters and the gods of Asgard. In addition, like your clans, the blue clan, here the ravens, they're all together in one thing with all the little bits and bobs right there. The wolf clan, likewise, I've placed in the center here. The Ragnarok tokens, extra cards for the expansion, and, so, and the little tiles are right there. These fit in securely and quickly. And then each one of the additional clans comes in its own little tray, also has the mystics. And then underneath each one, which is really unique, 
they have a, a separate little trays that fit underneath for the rest of the clan. Here's your leader, your boat, the two mystics, and the extra tokens. These are the Kickstarter tokens, so cool. And everything just fits so nicely together that I can get Blood Rage to the table in just a few minutes by putting these items back together. And this makes for a really quick experience, but everything is displayed so nicely and so quickly that uh, if you're really into getting your games out quickly, this is one way to do that. Blood Rage from Meeple Reality. Another item from Meeple Reality that I was first introduced to when I saw this was Castles of Burgundy. This is my favorite Stefan Feld game. And again, everything fits so nice and securely in here. The maps come out easily. I have some player aids in here. But what's really cool is they each come with four individual dice towers. So everybody sits and plays with their own dice tower. They've got the cute little Meeple Real Reality logo on them. There's a cover across the top. And then these can, I found that you can put these little covers down like this here. Everything rolls out just fun. You've got this really awesome tray here also for all the bits. Look at how nicely everything is displayed. Dice, all of your components for all your tiles, makes castles of burgundy and ease to set up. And of course, five tribes. This has the Artisans of Nagala expansion. So I've got lots of goodies in here. Very simple, great tile placement, removable trays for all of your components. Likewise, really nice removable trays for all the wood bits. Trays for all your money. Your cards come out very nicely as well. Very nice adjustable shelves. All of your tokens are there. Yeah, all of our meeples are in the bag along with the scorecards. So five tribes to the table in two minutes. Five tribes. And last but not least, Orléans, Chateau Orléans by Tasty Minstrel. This game is so fantastic. Wonderful player boards, great map. You can see there's a lot of thick stuff going on there, but this is really great. Not only do they have a place to keep all the nice bags for the game, but they have removable trays for your money. There's removable trays for our buildings. There's a, a tray provided for all the original chits that come with it, the cardboard components. I have the deluxe version, so again, I, don't not, I don't, haven't put all of those cardboard ones in here, but you could do that. There's also uh, removable trays for each of the components. This again is this bendable wood that they've cut and laser etched. Really fantastic. Again, lots of removable removable component trays for the buildings movable for your money your tiles or your for your uh, citizens again more trays these easily sit out on the board where they're to set up each of the additional people and their starting players there's also bits a really neat bit box again with a cover that allows you to keep your extra houses for each of the people, each of the players. Really great insert, love this game. This makes it really enjoyable. Now, last but not least, we have a company called Game Trays. Now, Game Trays are a form-fitted type of plastic insert that's a vacuum-sealed type of process. And what they do with their trays, they have a tray for Euphoria, for Splendor, for Terra Mystica, some extra trays for your tokens. They have a Brewmaster's token as well. Let me show you a couple of these. Now, here's an insert 
that comes for Terra Mystica. What's interesting about these is they have really nice covers that fit very tightly and a very nice felt type of feeling. And you can actually put in your, your tokens here. These here are for your Windfire to tokens, you know, and they toggle in and out so you can take them out easily. And then likewise, be able to cover them. And then they're really solid. In addition, you have your other tokens for your components. And you have two of them, so you can have them on both sides of the board. And these will easily fit inside of your box. And so you can keep these, bring them out to the table, and utilize some of your components. Along with that, they make some really nice little trays that have these same type of covers that you can easily pull out your components. So you can buy these individually. You could have 10 of them sitting on the table. They come in different colors. This here is the felt lined, which is really nice. This here is the clear plastic. And so if you have components from Stagmire or whoever from Treasure Chest, they make those really nicely. And these just pop right back on. And again, everything is very secure. So these are really great for travel. They're stackable. Now you've all seen Splendor, but look at this thing. There's this interesting cover that's on top of this. But look at this. This thing will not come off. You can drop this from the ground and everything will still be intact. So this makes a really nice storage solution if you're wanting to take Splendor. The chips are all intact. Your cards are easily separated. Again, it has the nice felt lining. It has a really nice feel to it. I think this is a really neat portable solution if you want to take Splendor on the road. And there again, as durable as all get out. And last but not least, one of my favorite worker placement games, Euphoria, Build a Better Dystopia. Well, if you're going to have a dystopia, you better have things in order. <laughs> so we've got our rules, nice, everything fits. Again, we've got a cover, a plastic cover that keeps all the components in place. And it fits specifically, but what's really great about this insert here is each one of these trays actually comes out. So all of our components, you'll see I have some of the premium upgrade components there from Kickstarter. And, and these trays just easily pop right out and play all of the dice for each faction, all of the different chits. And here again, they just slip in and out of there so nice and easily. Um, likewise, these cards they just toggle in and out to grab these locations and all of our cards everything has its place euphoria they really did a fantastic job on this insert well that's about it folks I'd love to show you all of the different inserts for each of these different game companies and they're all unique and cool in their own right. I just wanted to give you a few ideas. And you know, this doesn't even scratch the surface. There are tons of inserts out there. Check out these companies that we looked at and see all that they have to offer. These companies, I know them, they're wonderful to work with and this kind of thing really enhances our hobby. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, four prominent podcasters, Blue Peg, Pink Peg, Rolling Dice and Taking Names, the Dukes of Dice, and the Berkey and Badger Board Game Battle Show have been collaborating to do an awesome inserts galore contest. You're going to have the opportunity to win one of five different inserts plus the Big Kahuna Contest. What you have to do is go to BoardGameTheater.com and you're going to see our contest page and our Rafflecopter entry form there. And there it'll direct you to several of our podcast social sites where you will have multiple opportunities to enter to win some of these great inserts. I will have the show notes, the web addresses, and all the contest details there for you. And so we want you to just join in, share the fun, share all the stuff that's so great with this hobby. And so with that, I'm Berkey, and let the games begin. Well, I said I couldn't show you all of them, but I just had to. Take a look at all of these inserts. Look at how wonderful, uh, they're, they're, it's amazing that how, how the organization, the brilliant minds that come up with this stuff, the amount of effort and time to make gameplay so much fun and be able to get our game to the table quickly and organized and put away and um, uh, this is the best. I hope you enjoy inserts as much as I do. So with that, enjoy.
Well, so that's about it, folks. I'd love to show you all the different games that I have in each different insert because they're all so unique and cool in their own uh, right. But in order to keep this video short, we just wanted to give you a few ideas from a few companies. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do.